Hey, I'm CJ Maurer with The Gist. Are you wondering or trying to figure out how to track all of your referral partners and referral activity inside your CRM? If so, I am going to show you how to do it in HubSpot. Here you can see on my screen, I have a deal pipeline pulled up, right? This is just like any old deal pipeline. If you are somebody who is running a sales team or trying to grow your business through referral relationships, the first thing that you're going to want to be able to do is isolate which of your deals have been referred to you, right? This is pretty much garden variety stuff that you may already have on a deal source or lead source property. You may have, you may require all of your reps to attribute the source. Was it a advertising campaign, cold prospecting referral, whatever it may be, right? But most companies want to go much deeper than that, right? You may want to analyze all of your referral partners, the companies and the contacts that work at those companies. You may want to analyze how many leads they've sent you, how many of those leads turned into closed one clients, the total revenue, the average deal size, the closed one ratio, and a variety of other metrics. So we're going to teach you how to use HubSpot to automate the tracking, the reporting, and the outreach on all of your referral partners and referral partner activity. So this is where it starts. First, you need to have custom association labels. All of this is gonna be controlled through the deal. So whenever you create a deal, the contact and company associated with that deal will default as the primary contact and primary company. But what you wanna do is create a new association label called referring company. And you also want to create one called referring contact. So you can associate multiple companies and multiple contacts with the deal, but distinguish the relationship, right? Where one of them is the client, the other one is the referring party. That's the first thing that you need to do. So then once you do that, you have a deal, deal record that looks like this. You can clearly see this is a deal record for Harrison Kent. Again, this is a dev portal. This is all dummy data. Uh, so Harrison Kent is the company and April Montgomery is the contact at Harrison Kent. Except this person, Otha Ali, from the company Raven is the one that actually referred us this deal. So we have associated Otha as the referring contact and Raven as the referring company. Now, how do you make sure this happens? What we would recommend is a, is two things. One, you have to make sure that source is required. Not just at further stages, but you should require all of your reps to attribute the source of the deal upon creation. In other words, no deal should ever be, exist in your pipeline without attributing the source of that deal. There's no way anybody should be able to create a deal without knowing where it came from. The next thing that you want to do is create a workflow that says when there is a referring company uh, associated with the deal, create a custom property called referring part parties associated to yes. So one, you're attributing the source and two, you have a deal property that lets you know when the referring contact and or company has been associated. Next, what you want to do is alert the delta, right? So how do we do that? We create a deal tag, a custom deal tag called referring parties missing. So what this does is it says when lead source is referral, but refer the, the custom property referring parties associated question mark is blank, then there's a problem. Because if the lead source is referral, then there must be a referring party associated. So what that will do is that will display a deal tag here, right? That, hey, you have said this deal was referred to you, but you have not associated the referring party. So what this does is it streamlines the accountability process of making sure the uh, associated contact and company are referred. You can even go a little bit deeper and send escalations to that sales rep. You can even try to prevent somebody from moving the deal to closed one and actually could prevent somebody from moving a deal to closed one unless they are associated. So there's a lot of things you can do to really make sure that there's accountability, but this is a simple way just to make sure you are ingraining the habit with your sales team. So now, anytime a deal is referred to you and we have the referring company and contact associated, 
Now what we want to do is aggregate data on the referral partners themselves. So what we're going to do is create a bunch of company properties. Now you can do these with, with contacts as well, but we happen to find the most value, uh, at least starting with the company. So what we've done here is we've created a calculated property, right? When you create a property, I'm going to do test, uh, I'll do a group and I'm gonna to go to field type, we know that you can do a calculation or a roll-up. So I've already created these, so I'm not gonna recreate these. Um, clients referred is exceedingly simple. What it says is we're creating a roll-up of account, a formatted number, and again, this is a company property. So what we're doing is counting how many deals the company is associated with as the referring company. Now this clients referred is only when the deal stage is turned active. But if I went to total deals referred, then we're, we don't care what stage it is, we're just counting how many actual leads they have sent us. So now all of a sudden we're building these calculations that can live on the company records. And you can do other cool things like what is the total deal value they have referred? We can do what is the average size of deal that they refer to us that closed. We can calculate the closing ratio. So you can see, hey, when this referral partner sends us a deal, we close it 75% of the time, but this one sends us leads out the wazoo, but we only close 10% of them, right? Now you can start to make strategic decisions about how valuable all of your referral partner relationships are to you. So then once you have that, this is where you can do some really cool stuff. So now you can generate your referral partner leaderboard. So I don't know how well you could see this, but I'm showing Raven has referred us six deals and four of them have closed for a total deal value of just under 32,000 right now. When you think about it this way, you can have referral partner leaderboards and you can figure out and rank all of your referral partners by the total leads, by the total clients, uh, revenue on down the list. What you also may want to do in, in this instance, which we've done in many other instances, but isn't built in this particular portal is one, uh, automate a way to thank your referral partners. So when a deal moves to close one and there is a referring party associated with that deal, um, you can automate a task to the deal owner to say, don't forget to thank so-and-so. Or you can take it a step further and automate an email to that referring party themselves and just say, hey, I wanna let you know this deal closed, thank you so much. If you have a referral bonusing program, you can use HubSpot as a way to continue to fulfill on that. Uh, so there's a lot of great things you can do when deals are closed one. What you can also do is remind reps to maintain their relationships with their referring partners. Maybe there's somebody who has referred you 10 leads and five of those turned into clients, but they all of a sudden haven't sent you a referral in six months or whatever it is. So you can build criteria. And when those triggering events occur, you can escalate internal notifications or tasks for your team, encourage them to reach out to them. Hey, this party has not sent us a referral in a long time. Why don't you ask them out to coffee or take them out to lunch so you can maintain that relationship. And there's other things that you can do in your CRM, such as marking them as evangelists. So whenever somebody does refer you a deal, maybe you have a specific life cycle stage uh, to indicate that they're a referring part party or if they're already a client and therefore already have a different life cycle stage, maybe you just wanna check them as an evangelist so you can just keep track of them. Maybe this influences reporting, maybe this influences uh, some list segmentation, maybe there's information you want any, any of your referring partners or evangelists to see. So uh, building this infrastructure is a wonderful, wonderful way to streamline tracking and follow up with your referral partners. We all know, especially in the B2B sales and marketing world, uh, the tremendous amount of power and opportunity that exists with strong referral partner networks. So once again, what we're trying to accomplish here is a streamlined way to associate referring parties to deals with checks and balances and accountability to ensure it happens. Two is a library of calculated properties that live on the companies or contact records themselves of the referring parties to be able to easily retrieve that information or report on it. Then what we're trying to do is track our referral partners, especially like the leaderboards and have that then guide 
any follow-up actions, automated or manual, for thanking them or following up with them. This is a wonderful system that once you have in place, your reps can seamlessly go about their day, occasionally check up on which referral partners are the most impactful, need to be thanked, need to be re-engaged, and then you can collaborate with your marketing team on how to create more content to attract more referral partners like those. We've seen it work in a number of instances where it really does help transform scalable organic growth. Love this milestone. Hope you can find a way to implement it. If you have any questions or you want some help, reach out to us. Uh, we love creating these videos, these objectives-based HubSpot implementation, I guess, tutorials. So please, if you like this and found it valuable, give it a like, subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments or suggestions for other videos you want us to create, either leave a comment or click the link to go to our website and fill out a form, we would absolutely love to hear from you. Thanks again, see you soon.